this does take action on a request for Gabriel Horn to permit a Cleveland filming company to do nighttime filming on the square for two minutes this month. Somebody got a presentation or anything like that to tell us what's going on. It's not much of a presentation. We're, we're just really asking for permission. Um, my name's Dan, <coughs> and I used to run live music and stage plays out of the Palace Theater a couple years ago. And had a great time. I've since moved to Austin, moving into film production. And if it wasn't for the work, I'd still be here. But uh, you guys have a beautiful courthouse square, and our uh, latest film production is a really silly vampire comedy. And uh, your, the courthouse is amazing, it's beautiful, and, and the town is quiet at night, so we think that it'd be perfect to use at night for a couple of days, the end of the month. Have you, uh, have you discussed this with the city also? You know, our ability to approve would be the courthouse line in the courthouse. Sure. The streets and the rest of the downtown and even <coughs> Lawrence Street, you would need to discuss with TxDOT even. So okay. you know, all we can approve is the courthouse line in the courthouse the rest of the downtown square belongs to either the city or individual people okay well that we can definitely pursue that but yeah it's just an area that sure absolutely <coughs> is there going to be uh, will noise be a factor in this thing uh, i mean there'll be some dialogue but there's nothing nothing outrageous no okay. you know, loud music no explosive course mm -hmm. just uh yeah just just silly you know yeah, actually, and it would also actually be uh it's changed from two nights to possibly four nights, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, And really, we're looking forward to shoot down um, uh, down Walnut, you know, both sides, the courthouse side and, of course, the Gray Street side, and, and use that, utilize that parking lot back there behind that old theater. And at one point, we may have about... Yeah, that is a city parking lot, so you wouldn't need to check with them on that. Okay. Do, would you know who I might need to contact? Just at the city hall. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure. See the Mignon or Peggy or the Grand G over there. You say night, what? It doesn't matter, I don't guess, but what time of night? Uh, sundown to probably, depending on how the production goes, possibly sun up. We just do the next sun up. It's vampire film, too. It's got to be a night. It's got to be a night. <laughs> you, uh, but if it's, it's a silly vampire film. <coughs> you'll be through by Sunday morning, even if you're doing yes, it Sunday. We'll be, yeah, you won't interfere the latest, with anything. The latest we'd be shooting until it would be 5 in the morning. We'd be out of there by 6 in the morning. So. Well, we've been connected to dinosaurs, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nuclear. Now do we want to be connected with vampires? Why not? We had bats in the Heritage Library for a while. So. Might still be there, I don't know. Yes? Would this affect any of the businesses on the square, us being open our hours or anything like no, that? No, I mean, everybody kind of shuts down by five or six. Those are on the six. weekends, we go light. That's Wait. my, as spring gets here, we go lighter. No, and, and, the, and on the positive, we will we'll definitely utilize, you know, local resources and we'll, we'll all need to be fed and you know we've got a small crew but we're bringing in the actors and talent and so we'll be spending money here too of course. That's the reason I made it the point that all we could talk about is courthouse square. <laughs> there's businesses on the square and there's city streets and all there's more more involved in giving permission to be down there. Than right. just oh absolutely so and, and if we have permission with you then when we leave here we're going to go and, and talk and to you. you know, we know most probably of uh, <clears throat> if, not thinking and of course, you may know, we might should have heard from the business people on what they feel about, you know, having it down there, but uh, I'm sure some would support it and some would be against like everything else. Yes, Mark? Is, is this movie going to have any nudity or, or what's it going to be rated? No, sir, probably about PG-13. I mean, there's going to be some goofy blood stuff, but, you know, it's, yeah, you know, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, decent filmmakers. <laughs> I mean, you know, in high hopes we'll get it on DVD, maybe run it at Blockbuster, maybe it'll premiere on Nickelodeon or something. So, see what we can do. I know a lot of the communities across the state are hosting film companies today. You know, it's a. I know Walks Hatches filmed several movies over there. A uh, little town I. Lived in Fort Kane Glen Road years ago, and old Bartlett has uh, found several of them down in Central Texas. Well, we, lo we, we locate it scouted all over the state, and 
we like. We love this. The courthouse with the crosses and the <laughs> Sorry. It's a beautiful courthouse. There's going to be protest in the street. I swear to say, I don't know that that was uh, an, an, an intentional thing. Of course, when the courthouse was built, it wasn't a big deal. Still not a big deal. Yeah, I I got in trouble for having a witch in my window <laughs> at, at, at Halloween. <laughs> you know, uh, in seriousness, along that line, I know, being, I guess it's going to be late at night, mainly that there shouldn't be a lot of exposure to young children in all downtown. Right. town. So without they become aware of it and their parents bring them down, so I don't know, you know, it's... Uh, I move we grant approval contingent upon them getting approval of the city and textile should they need that approval to make use of those other devices. Second. Mike Ford, second by James Bernard. Any other discussion? <coughs> Nine all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries forward. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.